Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I have a collective message. We're going to find out what girl wants you here. Please remember this when I resonate for everyone. So let's get straight into this and find out what girl wants you to know. Okay, whoever I'm speaking to, somebody is very intrigued by you, okay? But whoever this is, they tend to watch everything that you do. This person, they keep a very close eye on you. They also have a lot of dreams about you. This is somebody who... They seem to be very confused as to why they're so drawn to you. Even though whoever I'm speaking to, you do seem to be somebody that is very attractive, okay? People are very drawn to you. But you have somebody that is confused as to why they can't kind of shake you. They can't get you out of their energy. This person may have tried in the past to get over you or to forget about you in some type of way, but for some reason, this person can't forget about you. Now, whoever I'm speaking to, you do have a very magnetic energy, right? You also seem to be very independent. You seem to be very about yourself as well. There's also this energy where you don't care what people think about you, and I just mean 202. This person really admires the way that you don't care. You seem to just follow your intuition. You don't care what people think of you. You seem to go for what you want. You also seem to be somebody that... I'm getting somebody that's very attractive, okay? Physically attractive. Um, but again, this person, they seem to... There's an energy of them just watching you okay i also see this person wanting to talk to you but i don't know there's this fear right they're very intimidated here by you but this person they seem to be dreaming about you a lot they seem to be getting signs about you at the moment they also i am getting that for some of you, this person may actually message you or they may even gift you something. They may send a gift to you, but I'm getting that they may say that the gift is anonymous or it from somebody else. And again, with the message, they may message you off a fake account or they may pretend that they're somebody else or they may get maybe a friend of theirs to message you. This person feels a strong pull to speak to you, but they don't want to do it themselves, okay? I'm also getting something where they may actually ask somebody to take their phone away from them when they're thinking about you, or maybe when they're drinking or doing something like that as well, they may actually ask a friend to take their phone away because this person's scared of they're scared of talking to you but especially I am getting something about alcohol this person may drink a lot or there could be some other addiction and it's like when this person's intoxicated they really want to reach out to you so they may actually ask someone to take their phone away to take their to kind of maybe lock up their phone as well. I'm also getting this energy where they may ask someone to reach out for them or on somebody else's account or on a fake account. I do see this person, for some of you, you could be manifesting communication from them or they could be manifesting communication from you. 
If you're manifesting communication from this person, though, they want to communicate with you, but they seem to just watch you. They seem to kind of be a little hesitant to reach out, right? You could be dealing with a Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Cancer. There's a lack of... I mean, this person, they do nothing but watch you. So there seems to be a lack of conversation. There seems to be a lack of actual connection in the 3D, right? You may have a 5D connection with this person for some of you, right? But for others, I'm kind of getting this is somebody that you've come across, you have met. And... It feels like, it's like your energy is very intoxicating and it feels like this person can't shake your energy. It feels like they're dreaming about you. It feels like they're getting signs about you. This person may have only met you a few times as well. But this person, whoever this is, they feel like your energy is intoxicating and they don't know why they can't get over you, why they can't stop thinking about you. For most of you, this is somebody that's been thinking about you for a very long time, right? They've been watching you for a very long time. This person feels like you just have a very magical energy to you, right? They're not sure, like... For some of you, I am getting with the magician here, you may actually be manifesting communication or for some of you I'm just getting that you're manifesting your best life the best version of you right but to this person they're so confused right as to why they are so attracted to you why they can't forget about you they also feel like you're too good for them this person this is the type of person that has typed out, you know, messages to you, and then deleted them all, okay, this is the type of person that they want to speak to you, but they're scared to do it, and you may see, if you guys are getting, like, random gifts out of nowhere, or even random messages, okay, that could be this person, okay, they may be pretending to be somebody else, they may be a fake account, and they may be sending you messages, but you also may be getting gifts out of nowhere. Maybe they're just popping up, okay? And you may not know who's giving them to you, but it's this person here. This really feels like a secret admirer, to be honest. This feels like somebody that admires you, but they're not telling you. They just watch everything that you do. Whoever I'm speaking to, you do seem to be very attractive. You seem to be... Not just physically attractive, but people are very attracted to your mind. Um, they're very attracted to your spirituality, to your independence. I'm getting that you do have people that are fighting over you at the moment. There's, there's a strong cancer here that seems to be very into you. This person is prepared to fight for you. Right, but I do see people just wanting... You do have a fair few people that do want to be with you. You do have a fair few options here, whoever I'm speaking to. Um, but there is this one option that's in your energy, okay? Now, this person, they, they feel like... They don't understand why they can't stop thinking about you. They don't understand what it is about your energy. But also this person feels like you won't even notice them, right? Like they feel like you have so many options, people. And even if you don't, that's how this person views you. Because you seem to be somebody that's very attractive. You seem to be somebody that, in their eyes, you're literally the whole package. Like in their eyes, you're everything that they want, right? But they definitely have energetically put you on the pedestal where they do feel like you're way too good for them. So I do think this person 
just watching everything that you do. They're dreaming about you. But they're not doing anything in the 3D, right? There also seems to be somebody in your energy. Now, this could be somebody that has their eyes on you. This also could be the same person that keeps watching everything that you do. But there's somebody here that has their eyes on you. And I do see that they may be gifting you a lot of things, okay? They may be kind of trying to buy you in a way. There's a lack of emotional connection though, right? I am getting whoever this person is. They seem to watch everything that you do. This person doesn't know how to communicate. They're going to come in with a gift, okay? But with no communication which again lack of em like an emotional connection here there's literally a lack of an emotional connection could it gonna be a situation where this person's going to come in and they're going to literally tell you that they're in love with you and they can't stop thinking about you they can't stop dreaming about you and that they've wanted to like talk to you for a long time. But the thing is, I think this person doesn't understand that them staying away from you and just watching you and just like gifting you things and just like not talking to you. There's a lack of emotional connection. There's like a lack of like you may not even know who this person is. Like you may not even know anything about them, right? Yeah, I do see that you also seem to have a lot of attention, whoever I'm speaking to. I've just seen 1212. A lot of people, I'm hearing Stephanie, let me know if that resonates. A lot of people are interested in you, right? A lot of people are attracted to you. A lot of people feel like, I don't know if you realise how many people are just ready to settle down and marry you because they really see you as marriage material. But the thing is, again, as I said before, whoever I'm speaking to, you are very attractive. But you have such an amazing personality and an amazing mind where nobody is really trying to get to know who you are. Like, I'm getting this energy where it's like, you know, people, they seem to be attracted to you and stuff, but there's a lack of them trying to get to know you, right? You may have a lot of people trying to actually impress you with gifts and things like that, but nobody actually getting to know you, right? Nobody actually trying to have you know, an actual connection, right? You're coming across a whole lot of people that seem to be very ego-driven, very ego-driven, very materialistic. And those people, they also feel like you're the same, okay? Because... Whoever I'm speaking to, you have such a beautiful soul, such a beautiful energy. People are not really sure why they're drawn to you, but they're very drawn to you like a magnet. Like you're literally like a magnet. You have such a magnetic energy. And people are very drawn to you and they're not really sure why, but they think it's because of your look. Okay? They think it's because you're physically attractive. And they're not realizing it's not even that at all. They are drawn to you because of your energy, right? But people tend to not even try to get to know you. You also ha may have people that, they have their eyes on you, but they're too scared. And I just seen 1441, they're too scared to express their feelings or even tell you that they're interested in you.
You could be dealing with a Taurus. You could be dealing with a Leo. There's this energy here where whoever this person is, there's somebody that just, they won't get over you, they can't get over you, they feel like they can't relax, okay, because they really want to speak to you, but they're kind of fighting themselves. They're getting a lot of dreams and a lot of signs to reach out to you. Whoever this is, they are getting so many signs to reach out to you. And this person, they're ignoring the signs. They're not reaching out to you. And now they can't sleep, right? They feel like they can't relax. And they may not know what the issue is. But this person also spends a whole lot of time. They may spend... They may have um, a hard time sleeping. And they spend a lot of time watching you. What you're, what you're doing on social media. Or thinking about you, right? But whoever I'm speaking to, I'm getting that you don't even see this person as an option. Like, you have option. This person, though, they're not, they're not even an option to you because they're not doing anything. They're not saying anything. They're just... And this may be somebody from your past as well. Like, I'm getting that this person's been stuck on you for quite a long time. Like, they don't know how to get over you. This person's accepted that they're never going to get over you. They also, they're too nervous to do anything about their feelings. Um, I see you not even seeing this person as an option because they don't even seem to be doing anything. And the thing is about this person, is they're so confused, right? For some of you, you may actually have a soul connection to this person that keeps watching you and they won't say anything. Because I am getting that, well, I'm picturing an egg. And when I picture an egg, that reminds me of destiny, okay? So, you may actually have some type of soul connection with this person. You may be aware of it, okay, because you're very intuitive. This person's so confused, like they're so confused, they don't know what's going on, they don't understand why they keep dreaming about you, they're not sure, they really think it's because you're attractive, okay, they think that you're so attractive that they can't get over how attractive you are, so they just can't stop thinking about you, um, you've got this person extremely confused, so if you do know who this person is and you do have a soul connection to them, Try not to think about them at the moment because what's going to happen is you're going to get extremely confused because they're extremely confused, right? And if you are feeling uh, confusion out of nowhere over, no, just in 1818, if you are feeling confusion out of nowhere about this connection, that's them trying to figure out all these dreams, all these signs that they're getting to reach out to you because I do see that spirit is really trying to get this person to reach out to you it's getting to the point where this person may be locking up their phone because they don't want to reach out to you, right? Or they're scared to reach out to you, right? This person's also very confused. You're also dealing with somebody that's very set in their way as well. Kind of stubborn and they may have made up their mind not to ever make any movement towards this connection. They may have made up their mind that this is never going to go anywhere and they may have just accepted that they have feelings for you but kind of like made up their mind not to do anything about their feelings. So it's like now they're getting this urge to communicate with you, right? They keep trying to fight this urge because again, they feel, whoever this is, they've made up their mind like they're like, you know, I'm not going to do anything about this because it's too hard. That's how this person feels, right? But their intuition trying to get them to reach out to you, they're confused. You may you may get communication again from a fake account or something like that. But I do see this person, they have a lot to say. They won't say it.
But this is also somebody that they have made a conscious decision in the past. Okay, they have recognised this connection, this love, okay. But they've made a conscious decision in the past not to do anything about this love. And literally, they may have made a conscious decision to pursue a karmic connection, right? Like, I'm getting this person kind of ignoring their heart. They seem to watch you a lot, but they've made this decision to ignore their heart. And to kind of, this is somebody that I'm getting at the moment. It's not even that they're in any type of karmic energy. It's like they're just kind of sleeping around with people, not having an emotional connection to people at all. Yeah. But I am getting that this person may have been in the cycle of them ignoring this connection there may have been a separation now you're coming up again right they can't stop thinking about you they're dreaming about you they're getting an urge to communicate with you this love this connection is coming back up this person so whoever this is um if you think that they're happy they're not happy and they're very unhappy but they have just something about them it's like they're actually very heartbroken this is somebody that never really, their heart is completely broken over you, this connection here. Their heart is broken as well because they've been ignoring this love. But they're not healing it. They're actually just trying to mask it with things that don't make them happy, but kind of distract them, if that makes sense. Especially if you're dealing with a Leo or a Capricorn. Somebody that, yeah, basically they're confused, okay? So they don't have the confidence or they have made up their mind in the past that they, they don't have the confidence for this connection. They don't have the confidence to come and speak to you or pursue this connection at all. They've already decided this in the past, okay, guys? Um, instead of taking this connection, they decided to kind of go down the connection... Well, the path that their ego was leading them down, okay? Because they did have a choice to go down a soul connection, but then they decided to go down, like, a more ego-based, karmic... I'm not getting a connection, it's just a path, okay? And their ego had made this choice, right? Not to do anything. Not to do anything about this connection here. Their ego made that choice. It wasn't their heart or their soul. This is their ego. They may not even realise. Whoever they think they made a choice that they were not going to pursue this connection, okay? They were not going to go after this connection, that they were just going to forget about this connection because this, there's a lot of love and there's a lot of healing here, but they may have actually confused their ego with their intuition and their, in, and their ego may have been telling them well, their ego wants telling them to walk away from you and this connection to close their heart off and go down a literal karmic cycle or, I mean, just a path full of addiction, full of bad habit, okay? They may have thought that was their intuition or they may have just made that choice and it was ego-based, okay? But now you're popping back up into their dreams into their mind right so this person they've been staying away from you they've been they've not happy don't think that this person you know staying away from you they're having so much fun no they're not happy they're disappointed they're also really mad at themselves and they're not doing anything about this connection they're ignoring their heart they seem to be ignoring the pain. This person also knows that you guys are literally meant to be together. I mean, with the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles, like, you guys are a match, okay? And with the Two of Cups, okay? 
in this deck, this is very healing, Two of Cups. This is a very healing love, right? So there is an opportunity for this to come back around, right? There's an opportunity for this to come back around. This person also, they're getting signs to communicate with you. They're trying to ignore their intuition, but this person will reach out to you eventually. And I do see it leading. Now, I am getting that it may just be a casual conversation. This person reaches out to you, okay? But it does lead to commitment, right? Like, this person with the high priest, right? Or the higher friend. This person, they're getting a lot of you know, signs, their intuition is guiding them to you, right, to this new beginning here, and this person also, they can see themselves marrying you, this may have been a missed opportunity in the past, and now it's coming back around, okay, and I do see this person eventually following their intuition, and reaching out to you, right, and you guys kind of building a connection. And look at that, guys. On the bottom of the deck, we've got King and Queen of Swords, right? So I do see a lot of communication between you two, okay? You guys building a connection. Um, you know, you guys having a great conversation. Just a really um, intellectual conversation, a emotional connection, right? So that's all I have for you guys. If it resonated, let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next reading.